Hello, um, this is a quick demo of the uh, Mirage Extender programmer. Um, right now I have it hooked up with the uh, rack version of the Mirage. So I'm using a MIDI patch bay to um, send both uh, CSX messages from the um, programmer and also uh, just a simple sequence from my sequencer so it triggers notes because you, you can do it any other, any other way with just the rack. So um, the Mirage Extended has a total of 56 parameters that can be uh, selected and sent uh, in real time to the um, Mirage, either rack or, or keyboard versions. Um, you will need uh, the Masos operated system. Um, I have it, uh, this is a flash floppy by the way. Uh, so whenever I, I boot it up, I just uh, choose the masses here and then just wait for it to boot. And, and that's pretty much it. Um, so basically the, the, the way it works is you press a button in the controller and then turn this knob and it will uh, increment or decrement uh, whatever parameter you chose. So right now, um, if I were to, uh, let me load some synth or something that actually has, let me check this real quick. I think, let me just this, uh, let's load over an upper number one. I'm not sure what is it going to load. I also have a keyboard hooked up to the <clears throat> MIDI patch bay to the trigger notes. So, um, I'm gonna trigger a quick uh, sequence to test it and then show how, how this works. So, let me lower it <clears throat> Let's say I wanna adjust the cutoff of the uh, bass line. So I just hear on the lower one and then um, just press the cutoff button. And as soon as I turn it off, you can hear how the cutoff frequency is lowered or same with the resonance. And then here you have like a filter sustain to just a show. Here you have the release. Uh, LFO is here, so if I were to adjust the speed and then the depth. And so on and so forth. So this is the velocity switch, so. To modify the upper part I just choose the upper part on the first one and then all these controllers will work now with the upper part as you can hear here Tune here if you want to.
this is pretty much how it works. Um, and it's a kind of a lame demo, uh, but I just wanted to show you real quick that um, the way the the programmer works, which is pretty much hit the button and then choose the value here, uh, move it, and it will uh, respond in real time. Um, it works pretty well. Uh, you have to take into account that uh, for like filter sweeps and that sort of things, um, the Mirage and I think also the APS and a couple more, uh, you need to re-trigger the note to hear the, the change. It doesn't do it uh, in a way that you can just use a pad and move the, the cutoff and it will, uh, you know, if you sustain the note, you will have to press the key again to hear the changes. Um, but that's something inherent of, of the Mirage itself and not, not the programmer. Um, in general, it's it's pretty straightforward. Uh, this uh, section here will uh, allow you to work with uh, the samples, uh, you know, to adjust loop, you know, loop starts and end and um, and other you know sample related stuff, uh, which is you know a little bit more easy to use than you know pressing all you know like a zillion buttons in the in the Mirage itself. So I think all in all. It's 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 a very easy tool to use. Uh, in this part, you have a couple shortcuts for like saving, you know, upper and lower and uh, copying programs. Uh, so you you just click here like one button. Like if you want to copy the program, like the lower to 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 any of the other buttons, you just push one of the buttons here and then. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's it and um if you want to like save or just you know it it will it will do the saving uh when you you want to save the like the the keyboards um so yeah and all in all it's it's pretty easy to use uh you have to take into account this is a very old sampler so you cannot like it will hang if you send a lot of stuff at the same time but i have been trying it and so far it it, it didn't hang uh when moving like parameters like real fast uh you will have a little bit of delay when working with um like sample rotation and that stuff because that's you know that takes a little bit more time um but other than that it works just fine so uh, I would like to thank you for taking the time to uh, check in this and I will upload a, a proper video once I have the, the you know the cases and everything uh, in place and uh, I'm hoping to start shipping these by January because the cases are taking a little bit longer than I wanted to and um, that kind of delays everything else so um, as soon as they, they are ready to ship, I, I will let you guys know. Thanks.